following tale we have is quite strange. It's unclear, humorous, and dishonest all at once. China played home to the Beijing Half Marathon on Sunday. 20,000 runners completed the 21-kilometer course. For runners, two from Kenya, one from Ethiopia, and one from China were trapped together up ahead. Though the African runners had a tiny advantage, an odd incident happened in the last meters. The Chinese runner was asked to pass by the African runners. Look, you can see them waving him through. Is it that embarrassing? Hedgy became victorious in the end. He beat the African runners by one second, but it was obviously all fixed. As you can see, Hedgy is very well known in China. He is 25 years old, holds the national record, and earned the gold medal in the marathon at the Asian Games. Thus, the organizers prioritized making him the winner. About this, a Kenyan runner has made a statement. He acknowledges that he let Hedgy win, but why? Since he was a buddy of his. Not a very good excuse, in terms of that. This incident was captured on camera, and as word spread on social media, many became indignant. People referred to it as unjust and embarrassing. Thus, the organizers needed to take action. They have started an investigation into what transpired, but because this is common in China, don't expect anything noteworthy. Marathons are quite the craze there now. In 2023, around 170 Chinese cities hosted marathons. Some, like Beijing, hosted more than 10 races, and the participation was quite high. The Shanghai Marathon, for instance, had 170,000 pre-registrations. It tells you how popular these races are. But not all of them are fair like this one in Beijing. Guess which runner is also sponsored by XSTEP, a Chinese sports company that supported it? The same runner that received the free overtake is Hedgy. Now try connecting the dots. Most likely, the sponsors desired for their man to triumph. However, why did the African runners comply? An explanation from a Chinese sports specialist could be conceivable. Perhaps a bonus was given if they allowed the Chinese runner to win, or perhaps the prize money was assured. In any case, it's not finished. And this whole controversy exposes two problems. One, the state of China's marathons. It's pretty bad. In 2018, 258 runners cheated in the Shenzhen race. Many of them took shortcuts. Another incident was in 2019. Instead of running, a woman decided to ride her bike. She was caught on camera and asked to dismount. So clearly, China needs more oversight. And that's problem number one. Problem number two is the frequency of such incidents. They signal an attitude problem, a desire to win by bending rules. We've seen that at the highest levels in China. At the 2012 Olympics, eight badminton players were disqualified, two of them were Chinese. They threw a match in the group stages, the idea was to get an easier opponent in the knockouts. Another example is Sun Yang. He was a world and Olympic champion in swimming, but he was later banned by authorities. Do you know why? Because in 2018, he destroyed vials with his blood samples. It's not something that innocent people do. In 2019, there was another example. China was hosting the World Military Games. One of the events was orienteering. It's like a mix between sprinting and treasure hunting. You must follow clues and maps to reach checkpoints. Just one problem, the Chinese onlookers helped their runners. They planted clues across the route. So eventually, other countries complained. Last year at the Asian Games, similar complaints were raised. Some Indian athletes were unhappy with the officiating. They launched a complaint with the organizers. So clearly, there's a trend. It's easy to blame it on the athletes, to call them dishonest. But it's also a symptom of a wider problem here. Athletes who win are celebrated in China, but athletes who lose are ridiculed, trolled, and worse. Now, we're not saying it's an excuse to cheat, but I'm sure it doesn't help. Chinese organizers and authorities need to realize the most important thing about sport, winning is not important, winning the right way is.